In this video, I'm going to quickly show how to add an image to a section. So I'm going to start just by trying to define my initial section line. So I go to digitize, I'm just going to use a code. So I need to go from over here to over here. So that gives me a feature like that. Now I know it's not long enough, so I'm just going to extend it, at least by meter either side. So I'm going to go to extend by distance, move on length then, that end by meter and that end by meter. If I then flip back into the point cloud engine and hit refresh, that extends along just about far enough. Might actually do the, the other end more than a meter. Okay, so that's long enough now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop that to an appropriate ground level. So to check the ground level, I'm just going to go query point down there. So about 28. So if I drop that to about 28, then it's going to be pretty low enough to start the section there. So we'll go back to lines and I'm going to go heights, set, set that to 28. If I refresh this again, okay, that's now down 28. And I've got always visible showing over here so you can see through the point cloud. So I'm going to just go now to sections, baseline, click that line. Okay, and there's my section. Defaulted into a meter deep. Okay, it's actually currently around the wrong way, so I'm just going to hit reverse, so it flicks it around the right way. So I'm going to start uh, to give myself, a, I'm going to digitize a, a line here, so I'm going to just make it a bit easier for myself. So I'm going to go 0 0.05, say. Okay, and then just move that back a bit so it gives me my profile about there that's what I want to digitize that's what I want my section to be at least so uh, I'm going to go to now digitize and I'm going to come down to put a suitable coding for the ground level so I'm just going to use CL for the time being just center line select points okay so I'm going to set my lock mode to point cloud otherwise it could accidentally pick up the feature down here and I'm under digitize. I'm going to just select now so a point there, point there, and pick up the ground profile. Okay, here's the wall. down to the ground, rid of the channel. Okay, so we've got our feature now in 3D. And what I need to do now is just take a, an image uh, that I can now put with that profile. So, so I don't get the features in here, I'm going to uh, hide my data. And I'm going to make the image, or rather I'm going to make the section a lot thicker and then just slide that back so I get that in the view and then the sections export section I'm going to leave it on 4k that should be plenty it's an elevation that's all I need to worry about there nothing else is ticked save image I'll give the section image a name so I'm just going to sec one for argument's sake okay so I can close that down now Here's my current section line, or rather here's the baseline, and here's where I've digitized. So I forgot when I was digitizing to label the points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just go to the points menu, go to baseline, click on that, and now I can see it here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on, say, this point here. I'll go to attributes, I'm going to say top of wall. Okay. Click that point there. And attributes will say back of wall. I'm now going to reverse the points and go to sections. I'm going to come to feature. I'm going to say project because I need to project this feature onto that baseline and allow overhangs to make sure that if the feature line does overhang, it doesn't reorder the points so that you get a very odd looking section. So press OK, click that one, click that one, right click. And there's my section. I'm just going to close it down 
and we'll call this one test section. Okay, so now I'm going to create myself a generic CAD model. Just call this one test for the time being. And 1 to 500 is too much. Let's go 1 to 100. In fact, now 1 to 50. And we're going to go and just show the image. Okay, now I need to plot the border around it so I can then clamp the section to it in a second. Tools, border. Okay, I don't need that text. So I can go to home, delete, delete that. Okay. So now I'm just going to plot my section now. So I'll go sections, plot single. I'll just say top of the box is say 38. The profiles. I don't want to plot the BB because that's just my center line. This is the one I want to plot. And let's have that in say green. Have that in dark gray and that in dark gray. So I can see the text. And the defaults, I need to add a remark. It's not in there at the moment, so I'm going to create one. remark and its date is going to be a remark okay and we're going to say plot on profile and move that over okay so if you're not if you make a mistake you can go back to it plot on profile so I see on the section okay okay that there's my layer name and I'm just going to put the section down there and if you scroll in you'll see that now I just need to move the section on top of it so under sections I'm going to go to move Lock mode is end, that's the start point, so I'm going to click there, okay, and then that corner is the start of my baseline, so I'm just going to click there, and there you go, and I can just get rid of the border now, and there we have our section with the image overlaid on top, which obviously we can export to AutoCAD, or whatever we want to do from now on.